in this video, we will look into how YouTube streams videos into the web browser. This is part of the new series that I'm starting uh, where we pick up a popular website and look through dev tools and uh, look through the request and see how the application is built, kind of reverse engineering uh, the app, right? But I don't have a name for it. Probably is going to be dev tooling something, dev tooling YouTube. So let's pick a video. This is one of my videos because I don't want to get copyright strike from anyone. So I'm watching my own video. This is Kafka. And what we're going to do here is go to dev tools, tools, and then click on dev tools. And when we, when we go to that, I want to make sure that we're, we're handing all these requests, but I'm going to clear everything. Uh, I will be imitating an iPad because that's the only big option that I have here for some reason. And uh, we'll keep this as 50% and hopefully this is still muted and I'm going to refresh my page here. So what I'm going to do next is refresh the page. And since we're now in mobile mode, the website will recognize that and it will switch me to the mobile version of this. And let's look at the requests, right? So we talked about diff tools. I'm going to reference the video here and we explained the waterfall, what exactly does that, the domain, the protocols, all of that stuff. So we're seeing a bunch of requests. The first request being, uh, uh, to actually get the page itself on the HTML page, it returns a 302, which is, I think, found, uh, which directs us to somewhere else. And uh, that is basically the mobile side, right? So we went to www, that's the first click. It reverted us to, to, mobile, the, to the mobile version. That's a new quick connection. So that was quick. And then we created another quick connection uh, because we want to switch the user to a mobile version because there is some optimization there that we're going to look at. And then we started fetching many requests. I'm not interested in looking at all of this. There is the JavaScript stuff. There is uh, CSS. There is some, uh, some images. But what I want to pay attention is, is this puppy, video playback. This is what actually streams back the content or the video. So video playback in mobile mode returns a status code called 206. And this is very interesting. 206 is actually called partial content. And partial content is something we don't play with much in, uh, in, uh, in the backend engineering, to be honest, right? It's, it's, a, it's a single request, but you tell the browser that, hey, by the way, I am going to send you a byte range back and it's gonna be partial. So keep waiting. This is very, very, very interesting, right? Very similar to server side server sent event, except this is binary, right? And I don't see why we don't take advantage of this more. Look at what, what YouTube does here. And it says 206, and what's the content type? The content type is video MP4 because it's an MP4 video, right? So we're pulling back the content here, and let's look at the waterfall. This is a sent the request, it's stalled, and this is the content download. It is still downloading. It took 1.3 minutes. And if we keep clicking away, this, this will keep increasing because we're still downloading the content, right? So the rest of the stuff is just request for the other resources, but I wanted to pay attention to that one, right? So this is going through a specific domain that is different from YouTube, right? So if you ever wonder how to download a YouTube video, guys, just found out, find in DevTools where is the video playback, right to click and open a new tab, and Why voila. <laughs> and that's it. You can just download the video right there. You don't have to use any tools or anything like that because that's how they do it, right? They, they, they find out where I am located and, and, and kind of targeted me towards an... Uh, essentially a CDN of the video very close to me. And in my case, I'm, I'm in California. So they picked up a very close location to me so that the download becomes really, really fast, right? And this, this will keep just going. This will keep just going. And if you are having trouble just figuring out where this thing is, just sort by time. And you can add the time by right clicking and click on that. So let's go and uh, switch to the desktop mode. And I think to switch to desktop mode, 
you have to add like a app equal desktop or something like that refresh everything let's do it in desktop mode all right this is it so these are probably some requests nothing fancy some logging here's what i want to interesting i'm now in desktop mode guys let's look how youtube in desktop mode differs from mobile mode so in desktop mode, I'm making a get request here for video playback. But look at this. The status code is now not 206 partial content. It's just 200 success. What do we get back? What content do we get back? Look at that. It's video webm. So one request to get partial videos. I guess that's not the whole video. Definitely. Right. And then another request. What do we get back? We get the audio. This has to be an experimental new technique in desktop to leverage the power of the quick protocol for multiplexing so they are simultaneously in parallel downloading the video and the audio on separate streams do you know how genius this is guys this way if you like let's say you minimize it, you're using uh, the 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 uh, youtube premium and you download and you minimize the app and you're no longer watching, but you're listening. So all they have to do is stop the stream, the request that actually downloads the video and just continue pulling the audio version. How much bandwidth you save, how much all the stuff you save, this is genius, right? Because you don't have, you don't, unlike the partial approach where, yeah, you, you're downloading partially, streaming, but you're downloading, you're taking the head to download the video and the audio regardless of whether the user has minimized the app or not right and uh, it's very interesting i don't I, I don't know what will happen in mobile does mobile actually have this intelligence to to separate audio from video right that's that's uh, that's extremely cool and look at this you in desktop mode you're gonna start seeing these two requests all the time you're gonna make a request for audio and you're gonna make a request for video so this one was what what is that thing request this was uh, yeah this one audio and the second one was the video ah, okay we'll keep, we'll keep all right so the second one was also audio so you you'll see both audio and video repeating here and it's very very interesting this is good again this is another audio one we'll keep searching this is some images probably some uh, thumbnails video playback what are we doing here audio continuing doing audio continue oh, this is another video right so the video is being requested less than audio because audio is way more important obviously yeah? so that's it for me today i wanted to just show you the different approaches uh, of the YouTube and how they actually change the user experience based on what device you're using. We have a lot to learn from this and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, uh, subscribe for more coolish stuff. I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome.